Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the next episode of The Book of Boba Fett. And it's episode or chapter five today, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I People seem to be really wowed about this one, so I'm ready to get right into it, are you? Um, but with quick note, don't forget to check out uh, Son of Son, who edits this channel, help me get it started. Kredik, K-R-E-D-I-K, check it out. He does Clone Wars uh, commentary videos. Um, satire, uh, comedic, so check it out. It's entertaining and fun, and there's other stuff on there you might like as well. And on that note, let's get right to it. So we're at a butcher's freezer. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> I'm like, wait, that pointy stick's not Jabba's pointy stick. He's here! Jin! He, he's just walking in there and they don't see him. Is he like their guard? Is he just walking in freely and they don't, they're like, we're working? I'm here for Cabo Baez. No more baby with him. What makes you think he's here? He owes someone important money. Well, if I see him, I'll let him know. I see him right now. Oh. <laughs> I can bring you in warm. I can bring you in cold. Or I can bring you in cold. <laughs> Did they really just have the doggy bite his hand? That's hilarious. Dude, he just whipping out the tech saber. He's a Oh, is he still rough with using it? Dude, calm down. He was dead when the knife went in him. There's a pile of New Republic credits in there that I have no right to. If you do me the honor of letting me pass, you all can help yourselves to whatever you think you deserve. That's a, yep, take the money. He's like, I'm gonna get in there first. Dude, he, dude's thinking right. Halo. Everything's combining. What a cool planet. Ship. I don't know what it's called. I didn't know Star Wars had this. Maybe I did. Nope. Wow. Cool. He seems unimpressed. Or are they working together? Oh. No. <laughs> I like that species. What is that? It's really well done, but I don't know. I think I've seen it before. There's always a party going on. <gasps> Look at all of these. Wonder what he's trying to do. Trying to get information. Yeah, dude. Don't you have like some bakta sauce? I see that he's uh still wearing that helmet pretty hardcore, but he's doing business too. I'm this planet. Oh, he's looking for is this where the new clan or maybe there's a new clan that lives there? Is this where the armor smith lives? Yikes, that's scary. Yeah. The child isn't with him because it's with me! It totally is. What is she doing? That's like an outer space basement. Tend to him. Oh, there's others. <gasps> or just that one big boy. I didn't know if I would ever see <gasps> you again. Thank you for it. Bisla? Such a wound. None of your business. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, don't let him see it. Amanda's just giving it up like you don't care or know what it is. Do you understand its significance? Whoever wields it can lead all of Mandalore. If, however, 
it is not won in combat and falls into the hands of the undeserving, it uh -oh. will be a curse unto the nation. It was forged over a thousand years ago by the Mandalore Tar Visla. He was both Mandalorian and Jedi. Is I guess it's a different last name. Or maybe he it's not. He wants it. He's hungry. Where did you come upon the Beskar spear? It was the gift of a Jedi. It can block a lightsaber. I used it to defeat Moff Gideon. Its mere existence puts Mandalorians at risk. He wants to melt it. She wants to melt it down. Mandalorian steel is meant for armor, not weapons. Have you ever heard of Bo Katan Kreez? She once laid claim to rule Mandalore based purely on blood and the sword you now possess. But it was gifted to her and not won by Kree. Bo-Katan Kreez was born of a mighty house. Her rule ended in tragedy. Are you gonna talk about something? They lost their way, and we lost our world. Those born of Mandalore strayed away from the path. Eventually, the Imperial interlopers destroyed all that we knew and loved in the Night of a Thousand Tears. Dude. <gasps> oh no! This was the bots from... Rogue One, right? Something for a foundling. A foundling. For a specific foundling. Grogu. <gasps> He's no longer in your care. Jedi must forego all attachment. That is the opposite of our creed. Loyalty and solidarity are the way. What shall I forge for the foundling Grogu? Oh. <laughs> what? What? Oh, he loves him. What are you gonna make him? Did you make him a little chess piece? Chain armor? <gasps> oh. I'm like, that's scary. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Distance without insight will lead to the same outcome. Your body is strong, but your mind is distracted. She's so I wise. Uh oh. Maybe the dark saber belongs in someone else's hands. It was forged by my ancestor, founder of House Vizsla, and now I will win it from you. Boy, you better get that rhythm out. You better feel it. So if you fall, you fall. Oh my gosh. The vibro blade. Come on, you can do this then. <gasps> oh, I'm like, hello? Get the blade. He's wanting to take him out? The guy's having a hard time lifting it too. I like that they're making it difficult for them. It is done. Paz Visla, have you ever removed your helmet? No. Din. This is the way. This is the way. Din Djarin, have you ever removed your helmet? Yes. Have you ever removed your helmet? By creed, you must bow. I have. Then you are a Mandalorian no more. I beg you for One your may freedom. only be redeemed in the living waters beneath the mines of Mandalore. But the mines have all been destroyed. This is the way. Are we going to Mandalore? So he can't take the, the saber then? Oh, he won it. What made you ask him randomly right there? Fine, bye. Good luck finding more. <laughs> Is this episode legit? The whole thing, Mando? Excuse me, sir. You're going to have to remove your weapons. 
Hey, that's the Tatooine ship. Oh man, valuable. Oh my gosh. Ooh, oh no. Oh, I'd be so nervous. We all know how bad it is about losing luggage on airplanes. This is so cool. <gasps> oh, I thought I heard the whales. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's so funny, a Star Wars version of that. This music keeps making me think of whales. Oh, Is he going to find Grogu? Is he going to Mandalore or Grogu? Oh, he, it kind of looks like him with the little ears. Maybe not. Where are we? It is Tatooine. Oh good, everything's in there. Dark Saber's there. Good. <gasps> Yay, we get to see her! Did she say BD? What is happening? Is she BD1? Hello? <laughs> so much cool stuff. Right this way. A pod racer. Ready to have your mind blown? Oh, it's like a pod hybrid. Where's the ship. Razor, Chris? You have any idea what this is? This is an N1 starfighter, handmade for the Royal Guard and commissioned personally by the Queen of the family of Scurriers. Not disrupt the nest. Aww. You know how hard it is to find all original no droids. Oh, and open it looks like a pod racer, so it's an boost fighter ship. I'm gonna add be a lot faster be helped. Oh my gosh. He's using BT. Where did you get this? It's brand new. Well, Jawa new. Uh oh. Jawas had a turbonic venturi. I don't ask, they don't tell. They give me what I ask for in exchange. I let them pick through my dumpster. Dated a jowl for a while. They're quite <gasps> furry. What? If I give them a list of parts, could they get them for me? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm looking for mostly bulk on aftermarket speed mods. Oh my gosh, this episode. He wants to make it razor quest. <gasps> Hi, the mama. There you go. I always knew you were the smart one. Ah! Uh, <gasps> I don't know why. That's why I'm reinforcing your compression housing, and you can access it by using this kinesio switch right here. Oh, that so nerd ship talk. Where does this panel go? Yes. Thanks, little guy. Oh my gosh! I want him to have BD. <laughs> It's so cool. Closer to me. There we go. Where do they get a cryogenic density combustion <laughs> Do you really want to know? Sure. Oh my gosh. I got it. They said they crawled under a pike spice runner and crimped it off while they were refueling. Gutsy little fellas. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tatooine Rooster. Wow, look at him shining all the color off. What happened to the droid port? I hogged it out. Hey! Watch your language around the customers. <laughs> She's so good. It's not turning over. Give it a little bit more juice. Wow. Oh my gosh, the visuals, man. Oh my gosh, giving us Phantom Menace vibes with the pop racing. Oh my gosh. He likes. Eric, she's fast. 
Oh my gosh. Uh oh. That was like a cat. Oh. Cute. Look at him. Oh. Oh. Is it the same ones? It's the same guys? Roger, not allowed to fly that fast next to a commercial ship. Ooh. You're also operating without a beacon. Oh, hold on a second there, Lieutenant. I think we can let him off with a warning this time. It is. Thank it's you, officer. Dave. I'll have that taken care of. Your voice is oh. mighty familiar. It's Did you okay. Razor Crest? You mind answering a few questions? <laughs> How did it jump? You want to go back to base and fill out reports all day? No, sir. This is so funny and relatable. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's the guy from uh, Kim's Convenience Store. That's great. But she was the other one with Dave. It's funny. How was it? Wizard. <laughs> Wizard. Oh really my gosh. They are giving so much Phantom Menace vibes. Oh. Well, by the I told way, her I didn't know where you were. Then I locked her out and engaged the hangar security system. Fennec? Did I tell you her name? Fennec Shan. <gasps> What's the bounty? No bounty. We need muscle. Tell them it's on the house. Oh. First, I gotta pay a visit to a little friend. Little friend? That episode was amazing all the way through. I was just like, nostalgia, lore, information, Easter eggs. Oh my gosh. So much the cuteness and fighting. Oh my God. I, I don't know. That's just so much. The duel was good. He earned the dark saber in that moment. He got kicked out of his creed. He might go back to Mandalore if he wants to join the creed. He might start his own creed. He's finally reunited with Boba and um, Fennec. Oh my gosh. BD droid, Naboo, starfighter ship old things uh so much wizards uh, <laughs> i love the dialogue the writing was good the story was good like acting all around hilarious entertaining like this was a great episode definitely like one of my favorites so far makes you appreciate you're like wow i really did like din you know this is a character that we only got introduced to from the mandalorian show and it's so exciting it's having him come back and having him explore all these familiar things in star wars it's just so like <laughs> his personality being very like kind of like i don't know how to describe it. it's not bland it's just very like nonchalant again he does great acting for not showing his face. It's all that body voice tone and the body language, all that. It was just great. So I don't know. I, I don't really have much more to say. It was just super exciting. Um, I'm guessing we're going to see the next two episodes or sorry, the last episode is going to be the, the war. I'm assuming Amanda's going to be helping them and, and, and doing that, which is seeing them together again and fighting against the pikes and the potential of seeing somebody else ah I w this episode was like basically all din and it was great so i loved it i'm sure you guys did too so if you guys love this review and reaction um feel free to show the support way give me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed already don't forget to subscribe so you can know when the next video goes live because we have one episode left and I'm sure we have a lot more to discuss because this episode gave, got me got me in all sorts of feels and it makes me excited. So um, sorry to cut out so short. I have an appointment to get to and I don't want to be late. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all this. This is super Star Wars. Is, it's super thrilling, exciting, and I love it. So yeah, uh, thanks again. And I'll see you on the next one.